Hello, I'm Darren Pearson and today I'm going to be showing you how to use non-Google fonts uh, inside of Tumult Hype. Um, by non, I'm, you'll notice today I'm using Hype here and I am currently using version 3.0.3 that we have right here. And when I say non-Google fonts, what I mean is if we go to our text inspector tab, um, we have quite a few built-in fonts already here in Hype. And if we click on add more fonts, we can either do Google fonts, which are reference to the fonts.google.com, or we have custom CSS. So sometimes you have a really, really rare font that's not in the Google library that you want to use. This is how to, uh, how to go through it. So, um, I came all across this problem. I wanted to use the Blade Runner font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off, I uh, just googled around, and there's a great website www.dafont.com that we have right here, and I'm just going to search for Blade Runner. And there it is. There's the Blade Runner font. You can kind of take a look at it. Uh, I'm going to download this, and it's a zip file. I'm going to save it to my desktop. There it is, it's downloaded. Close that window out. Um, and yep, there's my Blade Runner font. And uh, I'm just going to extract it here. And you can see that it has a .ttf extension. TTF stands for True Type Font. Now, uh, that's one of the file types that we need, but we're also going to need three others. So we're going to need to convert this. So what I'm going to do is uh, go to a different website called Font Squirrel. Again, fontsquirrel.com, and you can download a bunch of really cool fonts here. If you scroll down, you can look through. Uh, I really like, uh, I don't know, Retro. Um, some really cool ones here. I was looking at, what was it, Minotaur? Minotaur, I don't know. I like that one, but you can kind of look through. But uh, they didn't have the Blade Runner font on this site, but if you go to their web font generator, this will help save a lot of work. I'm going to click where it says Upload Fonts, and I'm going to go and find my TTF file for Blade Runner and upload it. And I'll choose the optimal version. You can choose Basic or Expert if you want. And say, yes, I agree. Yes, the fonts I'm uploading are legally eligible for web embedding. And download your kit. And it'll take a second, and you'll get another zip file. Again, works pretty quick. And I'm going to save that zip file to the desktop as soon as it's generated. There it is. Save file. OK. There we go. And uh, so here's the original Blade Runner with just one TTF. If I extract this, and I'll throw away the zip file, um, and look inside of it, we can see a whole bunch of files here. And if I click on the HTML file, we can see ignore all some of these other links. Uh, there's the Blade Runner font in all sorts of different sizes, so that works out pretty slick. Uh, there are quite a few other files. The ones of note are the EOT, that stands for Embedded Open Type, uh, the SVG, Scaled Vector Graphics, the TTF, the True Type font that we have right there, and the WOFF, uh, Web Open Font Format. So it's these four files we're interested in. Uh, we don't need that uh, version 2. And the style sheet. Um, I'm going to open up the style sheet. I'm going to use a simple text editor here. Uh, I like, uh, I'm on a Mac here. Oops, didn't want to use Dreamweaver. Duh. Um, I like using Text Wrangler. So uh, you can use any file that you want. Uh, of course, we're on a Mac, so um, give me just a second to kill this off. Yes, yes, Dreamweaver. Sure you want to quit it? Yes. Uh, right click, open with other. I should set this as the default. I thought I did, but I guess it didn't stay. Text Wrangler. And we can see what it looks like here. Now we need to make uh, a couple of little changes. I'm going to first remove the comment, just for the heck of it. And before at font face, I'm going to put in the style tag and after the last curly brace I'm going to put in slash style. Now the other thing they have to change is everywhere I see URL single tip single tick and then the name of the font I'm going to have to put in between the single tick and the name of the font I'm going to have to put in dollar sign 
curly brace, resources, and this is all case sensitive, folder name, curly brace forward slash. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it in here. And again, I'm using the Blade Runner font, so then it says Blade Runner. Um, you know, if you use a different font, obviously you have to use something else. Um, and this is this is a hype specific variable name, resource folder name that we have right there. So that's about it. The one other thing to note is the font family. You might want to select this and say edit copy just to put that in a buffer because in a future step we're going to use that. So I'm going to just save this CSS file and uh, close this down for the moment. And then this is how I kind of like to do things. I'll just close this. I'm going to add another folder on the desktop. I'm just going to call this test number one. And I'm going to drag those four files, the EOT, the SVG, the TTF, and the WOF file. I'm just going to drag them into test one. Now I'm going to start up hype. Uh, let me close this. And I'm just going to uh, create a default document with a black background. And I always like to do file save. I'll call this test number one. Um, and I'm going to save it in this test one folder that I have here, test one dot hype in the test one folder, that same folder that contains those four files. And I always just like to keep everything together there because uh, it just makes life a lot easier. At this point, I'm going to open up my resources tab and I'm going to click the plus sign and it's tempting to say add font but actually I'm going to do add file and again it starts looking in the same directory my hype document is in and I can do these onesie twosies or I'm just going to select all four of them and say open and they're now in the resources folder so things are looking pretty good there um, I can close the resources folder just to make a little bit more room and then I'm going to add element text and I'll just put in hello something like that now the problem I have here I have a black background with black text so I'm going to go into the text inspector and let's make it white so we can see it there but that's kind of the default text that I have here I need to add in uh, tell hype how to define this so I'm gonna click here under add more fonts and again I could use the Google fonts that looks pretty nice or I can do this and I want to choose custom CSS now, I've got three entries here for display name I can put in anything I want I'm putting in Blade Runner the CSS name I need to get that exactly as it's written in the style sheet.css so again, I have to open that up again with Text Wrangler. Open. There it is. And it's blade underscore runner underscore movie underscore font RG with a capital RG. I'm just going to copy that, paste that in there. And then here in the embedded head HTML section, I'm going to copy everything from the style to the slash style tag, say copy, and plop that, paste that in there right there. And it already gives me a preview of what that looks like. And then I say add font. So the only thing left for me to do now is with my text selected, you can see now I have Blade Runner as a font family. And I'm going to bump this up to about 36 and make this a little bit bigger. Heck, let's even go up to 48, 64, 72. Heck, we can go larger. Uh, make it a little too large. I have to make that bigger. Um, and that's about it. Now we have a font. Um, we're using the Blade Runner font. And again, if I don't like white, I can make it red or make it brown, make it cyan, uh, whatever I want to do for color. And then I can start doing all the usual things that I do in hype of animating it. If I can hit record and let's have it time zero, it's off the screen right there. And at time one, whoo, helps if you make the fun sound effects with your voice. Uh, let's put it right about there. I'll jump to time four and keyframe those points and then jump to time five and we whiz off the screen right about there. I'll do a file save and a file export as HTML5 folder. Just use the default settings, save and let's take a look at this in a browser. 
So now inside the test1 folder, test1, test1.html, click on that. Yep, there we go, there's Blade Runner. And he zips off. So again, I didn't loop it, so you get the idea. So anyways, that's how to do that. Uh, thanks so much for your time, and have a good day. Bye.